talking about coming to America with Eddie and Asinio, you know? Yes, so let's go. Where is that? you like my accent no mm. Mm. yeah no practice no practice that was straight off the dome but yes did you watch the movie yet if you did not watch coming to America coming to America not coming to America coming to America then you should not be watching this no spoilers i don't like giving spoilers so please don't watch this but i can't stop you right i really really can't before we get into this review i realized looking at my analytics i recognize that almost 99 percent of the people that watch my videos are not subscribers hello you need to subscribe i'm on a road to one thousand subscribers i need your subscription please subscribe Yes, like, yes, and share my videos with other people that you think might like it. Okay, all right, now let's get into this. So it apparently came out a day earlier. It seems like maybe they couldn't wait to get us to watch this movie. My expectations in the beginning were thus. Okay, we're in 2021. This movie was made or released in 1988, I believe. And since then we've had other African movies. Since 1988, we've been introduced to Nollywood. A lot of movies coming out of Nigeria and Ghana and South, South Africa. And then we had in 2018, the release of Black Panther that up the ante a little bit, right? So I was like, uh, looking back at coming to america i'm like okay oof, there's gonna be a lot of stereotypes african stereotypes there's going to be bad accents um, the only thing that's gonna save them is that it is a comedy and it's not um a serious more serious movie like black panther or some of those Nollywood movies or Gollywood or South African movies, those are authentically African. But coming to, coming to America or coming to America is not authentic. As we say in Jamaica, not authentic. Those were my expectations going into the movie. I was like, okay, it can go either way. I don't know. But from the trailers, I saw a lot of um, the actors that were in the movie originally have come back, a lot of them. Now that I'm done my expectations, you know I'm not really expecting too much. I was cautious into watching it. All right, let's talk about this movie now. One thing I know people were like, but Eddie didn't have no child, no son, no where this guy come from. How, how did Eddie have a child from America? You know, how, how did that happen? Because he had Lisa and the movie did, I think a decent job in explaining that. Um, I think they did a decent job. You know, other movies, they don't, there's no background story. You know, you see sequels and this happened. You're like, okay, but so-and-so, 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 why didn't they address those things? But in this one, you see that they added a little story. They kind of they kind of um, brought together when they were in the club and they were looking for a girl, and, um, you know, somebody for Akeem, Prince Akeem, to marry. And they went through all these women. And at the same time, they added a newer scene today with Lisa Leslie playing Mary Johnson. Johnson, not Johnson, J-O-H-N. It's Johnson, J-U-N-S-O-N. I saw the credits at the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said, you know what, not bad, not bad. And they made it a comic relief, as you could see, like, you know, um, he got high and that was the reason. And I'm like, all right, that can go on. That can go on. I can, I can, I can deal with that. I could deal with that. I could deal with that. I accepted it. Move on. Okay, he has a son, bastard son in America. In America. Let's start off with the beginning of the movie. My gosh, I have my notes. I have my notes. 
because I'm going to forget. So, in order of appearance, we have Louis Anderson. Shout out to Louis Anderson. I was like, shoot, I forgot this man was still alive or still around. I forgot he existed. The white guy at, at McDowell's, okay? So, the, the stereotypes are there. McDowell's, there's a, there's a franchise of McDowell's that's in the middle of the desert with gazelles and whatnot going around. You have the kingdom of Zamunda that you have this palace in the middle of jungle, okay? Not even jungle, it's just bush and forest. So I'm like, okay, the stereotypes are there. You, like you would think 30 plus years later, Zamunda would have progress, but whatever. It's no Wakanda, guys. Zamunda is no Wakanda. I thought I would start off by showing the remade scenes. Good morning, Your Highness. This is actually Eddie Murphy's daughter. Good morning, mother and father, and happy anniversary. Yes, Mika. It is our anniversary. <laughs> so cute. Hello, and Baba the elephant. We see him again. And this is, I think, CGI though. <laughs> There ain't no way they're gonna have some big elephant going on Tyler Perry's studio. Oh, <laughs> and this, listen to the music. And they redid it. I actually like the music. That's why I want the soundtrack. It's the same theme song as the original Coming T.O. America. All right. So we saw John Amos. Um, there were James Earl Jones. But alas. The actress that played uh, Eddie Murphy's mother, Madge Sinclair is her name. She passed away some years ago and she's a fellow Jamaican. Fellow Jamaican. Had to have my moment of silence for her. Lovely. I just love Madge Sinclair. I love how she talked, how she spoke, how she... I just love um, Madge Sinclair, but uh, we were missing her. When James Earl Jones said, you know what, I want to have a funeral, I was like, I want a funeral, funeral now, because he was dying, right? So he's like, oh, I want to have a funeral now. I'm like, okay, that's, that's different. That brought in, when I heard the music, I was like, oh, okay, this is how they're going to have the scene similar to like what they did in the in first coming T.O. America. Um, they had the dancing and all that stuff. I was like, okay, but then there was barely any dancing. It's like, okay, in that scene. There's barely any dancing. But what I liked about that scene, Morgan Freeman did the announcement. You thought that he was going to announce he was talking about the king. But he was talking about on Vogue. All of a sudden, I hear on Vogue. I'm like, what? <laughs> what a king, what a king, what a king, what a mighty good king. I said, yes, on Vogue, yes. And then salt and pepper it because I forgot. Salt and Pepper and on Vogue sing that song, What a Man, What a Man. I was like, yeah, Salt and Pepper. I said, okay, okay. And then um, they announced, Morgan Freeman announced Gladys Knight singing, um, singing, um, what do you call it? Oh my gosh. Leaving on that midnight train to Zamunda. <laughs> I loved, I loved it. I like that stuff, you know. I like the surprise, the element of surprises. You saw, you know, our um, different actors and actresses and singers popping up. You know, oh, 
Um, Garcelle Beau Beauvais, I believe that's her name, Garcelle Beauvais. She was actually, she's a seasoned actress. She was actually in Coming to America, Coming to O America, um, as an extra-ish, think of model at that time. And she played the part again. You saw her maybe about three times in the movie. She had no lines whatsoever. Then you had Wesley Snipes, General Izzy. Okay, he's walking in. Okay. I liked Wesley Snipes. I liked his character. I felt his character was funny to me. It was, it was. There were certain things that he did that were funny. Now, General Easy, I have to say, he reminded me of Mbaku from uh, Black Panther because uh, he had this, -ha! -ha! you know, that, that thing, that thing. And I'm like, okay, he, he's the Mbaku of the movie. Yeah, I can see how they're biting off of that. The accents in the movie weren't the great. We know Eddie's accent. We know Eddie was not going to put on an authentic African accent. Come on. Remember the time. The actual music video. Okay? <laughs> not remember. Remember the time when... No. Remember the time. The actual music video with Michael Jackson. His accent was the same as when he did it for coming to yo america okay so it's you know his accent ain't gonna be great i i find eddie murphy ha does a better new york jew than he does an african yeah yeah sal um boy trevor noah i was expecting more of an african accent because i guess because i'm so used to his well it almost seemed like it he was still he was trying i don't know it's weird and i guess stereotypically that i wanted to hear a stronger african um, accent knowing he comes from south africa the accent is a little bit different but i know people from south africa and i could have heard something a little bit more from trevor i wish i did because the south african ants accent is very pleasant i like it it's um it's still it's it's African, but it sounds refined. There's something about it. I really like it. Um, it reminds Nelson Mandela. You know, you hear Nelson Mandela talk. That is it. <laughs> that is it. Um, I was hoping to get something more when I saw Trevor Noah. I was like, okay, authenticity. And then, um, what's his name? Michael Blackson. Is that the comedian? Is that his name? Michael Blackson. And he came out with the hardcore African like the Nigeria and I don't know if it's Nigeria he comes from or if it's Ghana but he looked like a Nigerian uh, yeah he came he came with it <laughs> to me in the movie they were biting off a of Black Panther a couple of times so you had um what's his name uh, semi which was Arsenio Hall his mother I believe that was his mother this old woman old as dirt woman when i say dirt you you saw like like she looked like old as time okay i was like yo right there of course that was arsenio hall in makeup if you know arsenio hall's mannerisms you know that was arsenio hall um but i was like yo she looked terrible so when she came out and said remember the remember the the what she say um the test that the prince has to do something like that or promise to your father and then our uh, wesley Snipes is like general izzy he's like uh whose auntie is this whose auntie is this it reminded me of in the movie hey auntie <laughs> killmonger to angela bassett in black panther hey auntie that's what it remind me of laval's hair remind me of Kill killmonger um, the, the way they twisted it and everything. Um, it looked cool with the rat tail. Rat tail is owed to Akeem. Akeem had the rat tail back then as well and he cut it off. The princess, prince's test is similar to challenge day. Today is challenge day. Similar to that. I feel also that Semi's mother, that woman I believe was Semi's mother or maybe grandmother, great grand or whatever. Anyway, she reminds me of Zuri in Black Panther because they, you know, they they you know the ancestors and all that. They keep things in order and all this and um, the oracle, all that stuff. So 
there's comparisons, uh, certain things that you didn't see in coming to America, you see in coming to America because of what happened in Black Panther, the prodigal son being like Killmonger, coming to Wakanda, you have Laval coming to Zamunda, but it's for different reasons. Similarities are definitely there. General Izzy and Mubaku, both, they're both separate worlds. Mubaku and Mbaku and uh, T'Challa, the two kingdoms were, are separate, but in the same place, but separate in the same place. Same thing with Zamunda, General Izzy's area region in the same place but separate but in the same place and they have to come to uh equal grounds and find a way of coming together and working together and of course you have okoye and mika uh compares is there with this fighter woman strong woman trying to defend her country or family and you have uh killmonger in the hairstyle and Laval and the hairstyle, very, very similar. <sighs> lots of comparisons, lots of comparisons in this um, person. I liked the nostalgia of the movie. I like seeing the barbershop. Although the barbers, let's be honest with ourselves, them barbers should be over a hundred years old now. Okay? The barber and the barbers and Saul. Okay? Because they look the same blinking age. And I cannot continue this review without giving Eddie Murphy and Arsenio Hall their props. I have to give Arsenio Hall and Eddie Murphy their props. This is one reason why I will not compare it to Black Panther. I will not compare it to other African movies or anything like that because it is a typical Arsenio Hall, Eddie Murphy movie because they play different characters. That is, um, Arsenio played, th two, three. Ars uh, Eddie Murphy played four, four d different characters in this movie. Randy Watson, he played Clarence in the barbershop, he played Saul in the barbershop, he played himself. Um, Arsenio Hall played the old as time woman. He played the guy in the barbershop I always forget his name and then he played himself yes so I have to give Eddie Murphy and Arsenio Hall their props as always I think they're underrated for the the talents that they have in doing different characters especially Eddie Murphy underrated when you watch an Arsenio Hall or Eddie Murphy movie it's it's comedy so a lot of it is like it's a movie put together but it's a lot of sketch comedy sketches put together so you gotta watch it like that you know this is a over budget sketch comedy movie i would say a lot of people look oh it's it's this that but it is what it is it's an eddie murphy arsenio hall movie yes we have the first coming to america that we can look at and compare to but this is th that was put on the big screen this is put on amazon so it was filmed at tyler perry studios so i'm sure there are budgets there are limits time limits yeah yeah although they have a lot of stars in it I think a lot of people just did it for free as well. I don't think people got paid no big bucks to be in the movie. Just to say I was in Coming to America is probably good enough for a lot of people. Yeah, I believe so. I really believe so. Motombo. Dikembe Motombo. Get up with his finger talking to Laval. I said, oh, Mutombo, yes. You don't know Dikembe Mutombo, then I don't know what to say about you. He's a former NBA player, tall, like, wow. Uh, he was in it. Just a little, little shot that was at the engagement ceremony. Now, did you notice in the engagement ceremony, there are about, I counted about four white people. I thought in my head, where they come from? There's white people that live in Zamunda because there's no white people that live in Wakanda. 
I'm looking at my notes here, guys, because I don't want to forget anything. I will say this in the meantime. Don't expect Wakanda. Don't expect Wakanda. Expect coming T.O. America. Expect what you saw back then, all right? So General Izzy is the brother of the girl that goes, arr, 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 arr. the girl played by Vanessa Bell Calloway. And well, you watch this, you know. So <laughs> I'm talking like you never seen it, sorry. So I found it interesting that they incorporated his daughter now, like they redid the story in a way the daughter now was to marry Prince Laval. And when she when they did the dancing or whatever, I said, okay, you modernized the whole thing. I said, okay, I can deal with this. I can deal with the dancing and the go, 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 go. Here I am moving. You can't see my waist, but I am moving. I love dance. I dance. I'm a dancer, so I love dance. So I rather enjoy that. I wish it was more cultural stuff, but they had like the beat, the drums and all that stuff. And, and then uh, Laval was mesmerized by the girl, but she ended up being just like her auntie with the I uh, uh. thought it funny that they did it again. She's like, well, what do you like? Whatever you like. Like what business would you like to start? Whatever business you would like to start. I said, okay, <laughs> you're redoing this thing again. My favorite character in the entire movie was Mika. Mika was my favorite. Her skin was flawless, okay? Her skin was flawless. I love her chocolate skin. Beautiful girl. I loved the, the outfits they had her in her wardrobe. I loved the hairstyles, the way that they did her hair. I just loved her strength. I loved her character. The movie showed a time of progression because as we know, you know, many kingdoms with kings and queens and all that stuff, especially in Africa, the men rule, women don't rule. So this was a time of, um, a time of changing over. So when Akeem said, you know what, you'll be queen. I was like, oh, that's good, that's good. You know, I figured it was gonna go that way. Kinda saw that coming, but I like that they actually did it. Um, but Mika, the actress that played Mika, and I was supposed to look up her name before I did this, so sorry about it. But the actress that played Mika, I said, yes, girl, yes, girl, yes, girl. All the, and she was wearing, let me tell you, when I tell you, Jamaicans always recognize black, gold, and green, okay? She was wearing the Puma, isn't that, Usain Bolt, Puma, it, in it Usain Bolt. She was wearing the black, gold, and green, Jamaica, okay. It's Zamunda colors, but it's Jamaica colors. Yes, it is, yes, 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 yes. She was doing all the stick stuff. Oh my, oh, you know what I have to tell you guys? You see these? These are my Kamoya kimo, kimo, beads. <laughs> Kamoya beads. I'm like, what the heck? What am I about to say? Kamoya beads. These are heavy. I bought these at the Fan Expo. If you guys don't know, Kamoya beads are the beads from Black Panther. Yes, I'm wearing them. This is my first time wearing them. They came in a box. I'm gonna show you the box. Yes, they came in a box. See the box here? Yes. And then you open it, and there's an actual card in there, and it says, Sir. Yep, Certificate of Authenticity. Yes, so it's authentic. My bracelet is authentic. Black Panther. I had to wear it for this review. Yeah, I did. Yes, man, yes, man, yes, man. So the fighting sequence, I like the fighting sequence because in, in coming T.O. America, there wasn't fighting really. There was no stick fighting, like they, they were trained a little bit, but this was actual fighting. It didn't look too fake. Um, it didn't look too real. It just looked perfect. I like the fact that the girls held it down. The, the little girl, she was flashing the, the glasses. I love that part where she's flashing the glasses and, and swinging it with her stick against the guy and hitting him with the, with the broken glass. And then she stuck the, the stick inside the pot and then lick him, picked it up and lick him over the head with it. I love that part. I was like, yes, little girl. Yes, little girl. Lick him. <laughs> the soundtrack. The soundtrack. The soundtrack. 
I gotta get the soundtrack. I got to get the soundtrack. Like, David O is on it. David O was in the movie. David O was in the movie. Singing assurance. Yes, yes. Assurance. Yes. David O. Yes. So he was in the movie. I'm glad he got highlighted. I'm glad he got highlighted in the movie. Very, very good. So the ending after, after David O. After the wedding. Oh, Gosh, when Laval get let me tell you saw the, the dress, the bride's dress. Okay, oh my god, I said yes, girl. Yes, that train was just it was back, but it was out. Oh my god, it looked good from the front and it looked good aerial from the back. I said, mm -mm. yeah, I wish I wish I could have something like that. I wish I could. That that. That was very good wardrobe -y. And I like that girl. I don't know, she sounded to me more authentic and I think she might just be a American, but she sounded like she had more of an authentic African um, accent. Uh, that's Lavelle's bride. I believe her name starts with an M, cannot remember. Even the twins came back, the Peaches twins I called them. I, could, I was like, everybody's coming back to this movie. When they came out on stage and they said, my name is Peaches, and the end is the And they're dancing, I said, well, these girls got big, but I said they brought them back. Are they, is it for real them? I said, oh my gosh. During that, you had Randy Watson and Sexual Chocolate. <laughs> and of course, he was singing We Are Family. Which is nice. Oh my God, I, I'm just saying, this movie was funny. It really made me laugh. Um, certain things that she did and just how she and the queen. I, You know, it was different because you would think that the queen, Lisa, and Mary, mother of the bastard son, you would think that they would, uh, you know, kind of clash. And in the beginning they did at first, but not too much. But they became friends afterwards because Lisa was like, I miss my people from the Queens. She's a homegirl that I have from the Queens, you know, from Queens. And I'm like, you know, you forget about that. She now lives in Zamunda. I like the fact that they had them be friends, which was nice. I'm like that. I get into movies, even though it's not real, I still get into movies. Overall, what do I rate this movie? I rate it a thumbs up, not two, just one just one because it was true to Eddie and Arsenio form. It was no coming T.O. America and it was no Black Panther, nor was I expecting that. So what I saw, I got the nostalgia, I got jokes, I got a storyline that, that fit, you know, that answered the questions, how do you have a child in America? I, I got that answer. A lot of people might not accept it, but I accepted it. it was it, it Sometimes, most times you don't get one. You don't get an answer. There were a lot of cameos and a lot of people coming in. It was just a time of people just coming together. I didn't pay big money. I have Prime, so I didn't pay no big money in a theater to watch it. Maybe my thoughts would have been something different. I don't know, but my expectations would have been the same, which was not much, because I know it's not Wakanda. It's Zamunda. No. Would I want to live in Zamunda or would I want to live in Wakanda? I would want to live in Wakanda, for sure. No brainer, no brainer. Smart technology, vibranium. <laughs> Anyways, if you have not seen it yet, you shouldn't be watching this, but you should go and watch it now. Um, if you have seen it, let me know in the comments below what you thought of this movie. If there's anything you disagree with, I know there's people that did not like it. Tell me why you didn't like it. Tell me what you did not like, what you liked. Let me know what you think. Leave a comment at the bottom and subscribe to my channel. Please, subscribe to my channel. And she was doing all the sticks. Oh my gosh.